Hey everyone, this is Manish. Uh, I'm really, I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about some productivity apps that I've used to improve my productivity. Um, as I've mentioned before, apps are not the solution to fixing your productivity problems. They're just a, like a cure for the symptoms, but really you need to get a system in place. But um, that said, there are some apps which can really help you out and can really speed up the way that you deal with the world. And I want to show you some of the apps that I've stumbled upon recently that I've been using consistently that have really sped up the way that I work. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is my new productivity system for handling to-dos, project management for myself, as well as for groups of other people. This is a website called Trello.com, and Trello.com is a task manager. Uh, and so here you can see, this is my Trello board, um, and I'm doing a GTD system. So you're gonna notice here, um, here's my boards, uh, and these are my next actions. So in the next actions, I'll have, you know, my inbox of stuff, um, my things that I'm going to do when I'm at home, things that I'm going to do when I'm on the phone, things that I'm going to do uh, when I'm on the computer, and uh, things I'll do when I'm at work. The beauty of this system is that because there's an inbox, I just throw every single thought I have during the day, any kind of item that I need to think about later, I drop it in the inbox. I have the app on my phone, so if somebody pops in uh, and says, hey, we should meet sometime, or somebody says, hey, you should check out this website, I'll just write it into the inbox, and then when I sit down at the inbox, I'll start processing and moving it around, and you can do that just by dragging and dropping. Um, I don't wanna go into a full system for how I use Trello right now, I'll do that if you guys are interested in another video so you can see my full task management system, but you should note that it's really good for keeping your own uh, your own stuff in order, and it's really, really useful for keeping a group and an organization in order. I mentioned that I'm working on some electronics work in Boston, and I'm using a Trello to manage a team right now of six people. So, cool, check out Trello. Um, the second thing that's really helped me out a lot is a website called schedulonce.com. That's not it. Schedulonce.com. And schedulonce.com is a site that lets you handle scheduling with people. So rather than having email conversations where someone says, are you available at 8 p.m. tomorrow? Are you available at 3 p.m. today? I instead have created a little place uh, on schedule once where I write, where it's automatically synced to my Google Calendar and it says, here's the times that I'm available for meetings. So I'm available for meetings from 3 to 5 p.m. every day. So when you go to meetme.so, you go to my link, uh, it let, here's a, this is what it looks like to somebody who I send the link to. It says, what time zone are you in? They hit their time zone. How long is the meeting duration? And then they have an option of all the days that I'm available. Here you can see Monday through Friday I'm available starting next week. And uh, people can click and there's the availability uh, based on the calendar, which appointments are already available, which appointments are taken. And then this syncs right into my Google Calendar uh, automatically. So. Um, you can see when I go to my Google Calendar and somebody creates an appointment, it's automatically synced onto my, these are some appointments that were made, it's automatically synced onto my calendar so I don't need to think about it. So check out my week this week, it was insane. Okay, so um, that's the second app. Uh, the third one is called Jump Cut. Now Jump Cut is uh, not a web app, it's an app you install for your MacBook. Uh, and what it does is it allows you to increase the size of your, um, of your clipboard. So you know when you control C and control V items, so I'm control C the URL hack the system right now, then I'm gonna go here and I'm control Ving it. You know you can save and copy and paste, right? With Jump Cut, you're able to save everything you copy up to 40 items in a row and then paste them back at your, at your leisure. So what happens is when I saved hack the system, it's stored, as you can see, right here is number one in my clipboard. Um, using jump cut, you just use a different key command rather than control V. I just use control option V and this jump cut pops up. And then every time I hit up and down, I can scroll through everything that I've copied and pasted throughout uh, my, entire, um, my entire clipboard. And so what happens is when I'm doing a lot of different things and I need to copy or paste several different items, I can copy and paste multiple things at one time. Uh, copy multiple things at one time and then paste them all at once. So it can really save me a ton of time. That's really useful. Now the next app that I use is something called Reportive. And so when I drop into my mail, um, Reportive is a little plugin that hooks directly into your Gmail. It's free and it lets you, um, every time you basically put your mouse over someone's email address, uh, anyone in your, in, your, in your email, 
it'll automatically search for all of their social media information. So you'll be able to see that their uh, you'll be able to see their name, their contact, their Twitter, their most recent tweets. You might be able to see their most, um, for example, a, fr a friend Jonathan is working with me on the productivity article sitting right next to me. Say hi, Jonathan. He's right here, actually. How's it going? He's making sure. He slaps me if I go on Facebook. There you go. <laughs> so here on the sidebar, it's showing Johnny Wu, where he's located, his, um, you know, his Twitter handle, his LinkedIn. It'll also show his Facebook if this is not hooked to his Facebook, but it'll show his Facebook posts. And then it shows, you can actually hook it into um, different little plugins. So it's hooked into my AWeber and it shows me that he's interested in, he's on this email, uh, on this list in my AWeber account. So that's pretty cool. So um, that's a really effective app for Gmail for keeping track of people and knowing who they are. Um, you, the biggest one for me is knowing their location. Sometimes I know that people are located right next to me when they email me. Um, Okay, so the next app I want to show you is also a Gmail app. It's called Boomerang. It costs money and it sucks that it costs so much money, but it costs money. Um, so Boomerang, there's free ones that I've used, but none of them are as good as Boomerang. Boomerang basically lets me um, defer an email till the future. So I can make the conversation disappear and come back in two days or tomorrow morning or at a specific time. And often I can reply to an email. Um, so if I'm replying to Johnny, for example, and I say, um, hey, are we good for dinner tomorrow? And then I can boomerang the article in, um, in two days you know, or in, in, in one hour if he doesn't reply. I can hit this, the boomerang button or I can even send it later, which will allow me to send it at whatever time I want to. So boomerang is really good for deferring uh, things in your inbox, making your inbox go to zero and keeping it clean. Um, so the one other app I want to show you is Contactually. Contactually is this really cool website that costs a bit of money as well. It's 20 bucks a month, but it is kind of like supposed to be a CRM, like a, a customer resource management sort of, I don't know if that's what CRM stands for. What does it stand for? Content management? Oh. That's CMS. Oh. Oh. Anyway, customer, whatever. Anyway, what, uh, what this does contextually is every day it reminds me of people who I recently talked to a month ago. Like I last spoke with Timur on June 19th. I last spoke with Cody McKibben on June 27th. And it just reminds you of who you haven't talked to and it lets you follow up with them with a simple process. So I actually go through this quite a bit and just send an email to the people who I've been talking with in the past who I haven't followed up with. It's a really good way to keep, uh, to keep yourself um, organized. Um, yeah, don't point at that, John. Nobody needs to see that C minus. Okay. Uh, and then, um, the next one is um, Camtasia. So I'm actually using Camtasia right now to record this uh, video. Camtasia is really good at making um, screencasts and, and screen videos. It does cool things like look at me click. You can see things rippling. Yeah, that's gotta be annoying. Um, but uh, it lets you like, and, and I've never seen an app that when you have the video of me talking to you at the same time as a screencast. How do I use it to be productive? Well, I found that when I'm giving virtual assistants or real assistants or anybody a task, I can record a screencast and it really speeds up the process rather than trying to do phone calls or trying to do it on email or Skype because um, having a screencast really just makes things faster. So when I'm even just like sending an email to help a friend out on how to like upload an image on WordPress, rather than trying to describe it to them and saying, did you move your mouse to the left? I just record a video, send it out, just do what I said, God damn it. Done. Um, and the last app I want to show you today is 750 Words. 750 Words is an app. Oh, yeah. These are the apps right now. 750 Words is an app that tracks your writing, and 750 Words also now charges, and it sucks that they charge. But it's pretty cool. Um, it's You can see here, like, here's everything I've written. I'm trying to write 750 Words a day. If I don't write 750 Words by the end of the day, then it says, you, you know, it gives you a little slash up here, like you were unsuccessful. And, um, and it saves, you know, 183. Your goal is just to do 750. Um, the cool thing, like that, the coolest thing is that it just tracks that. It does other cool things, like you can view the statistics of the articles you wrote. So here, like, it's an article I wrote yesterday, and you can see that it took me, you know, <laughs> 20 hours to write 72 <laughs> <two> words, <laughs> 40 seconds of which are actually typing. Words per minute, one. Aren't you proud now, Mom? Uh, and you can see that like I, I, I had a tough day and as you can see I had a tough day because I was feeling mostly upset about this article 
Um, but yeah, it tells you like the mindset. It does pretty cool textual analysis. And it allows you to share your words. I'm going to start sharing my words with everybody so people can see it. I'll start doing that. Um, I'll do that maybe off camera. So anyway, that's a really quick understanding of some apps I've been using. Trello in particular is really helping me out. And the rest of them, and meetme.so is really big. So those two I really highly recommend. Jump Cut is big. All of them are really good apps. If you're not using a good management system, you can try following my, my system for a while. Um, cool. Hope this helps.